Hi, right, guys. This is a hybrid squad with Inform Cardozo. Starting off with the goalkeeper, we have Mandanda, 86 diving, 86 reflexes, and 83 positioning. He plays for Marseille in the League of One and cost me 1,600 coins. Moving on to the left back, we have Alaba, 86 pace, 81 dribbling, and 78 passing. Four star weak foot plays for Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga and cost me 1,200. Moving on to the centre back here, I do apologise if I can't pronounce some of these names. But he's Yanga Mwamb. No idea, I probably butchered, but he's got 76 pace anyway, 81 defending, and 79 heading. Plays for Montpellier HSC in the League of One and cost 400 coins. Next centre back is Sacco, 75 pace, 78 defending and 81 heading. He plays for PSG in the League of One and costs 700 coins. The right back now is Jonathan, 88 pace, 81 dribbling and 73 defending. He plays for Inter Milan in the Serie A and cost 800 coins. The first CDM is Luis Gustavo, 75 pace. 83 defending and 76 heading. Plays for Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga also and cost 450 coins. The next stadium is Zanetti, 75 pace, 83 dribbling and 82 passing. Four star weak foot, plays for Inter Milan in the Serie A and cost 800 coins. The first stadium is Carlos Eduardo, 83 pace, 86 dribbling and 78 passing. Sorry about that guys, he's got 5 star skill, he plays for Ruben Kazan in the Russian league and cost 600 coins. Net the next cam is Aymar, 74 pace, 87 dribbling and 70 shooting. 4 star skill moves, plays for SL Benfica in the lead in the league of Portuguese and cost 750 coins. And this first strike is Rondon, 75 pace. 81 heading and 72 shooting. 4 star weak foot. Plays for Ruben Kazan. And is in the Russian league. 4 star weak foot. And cost 800 coins. Now the info card also. 62 pace. So it's really 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 slow. 87 shooting and 82 heading. Nothing too good about the skill or weak foot. But plays for Benfica in the league of Portuguese. And cost 12,500. Quick review of the squad, the defender is absolutely solid as a rock, including the goalkeeper. The net is a tad slow, but still does the job pretty well. Gustavo's fantastic. The two cams pretty decent also. I'd definitely say he's a little bit slow, but he is a very he's in the box and around about that. He's a poacher. So if you guarantee the shot off, try and put it with him because he will score near enough every single time. That is it guys, I will now put some gameplay on, thank you very much, please do like this video, comment, subscribe to MRE Gamers and also my channel what is X17MSX. Thank you very much guys. Hasn't worked out that way. Now they're passing the ball well. Well he has a go. Yes. The equaliser. That's a magnificent goal and it has been coming. Yeah, they've got more players capable of picking out a pass and creating a chance, haven't they? Well, it could be. I hesitate to confirm it here because it's been a match of so many ebbs and flows. But it could be and it looks like the winner. And certainly hasn't left the opposition with much time to respond. And if they... Oh, goodness me, it's an equaliser. So late in the day. Well, they just won't give up this team. Dogged right to the end and they... I'm up. The attack carrying on, and they could be in. And it ends with this shot, and a goal! And it is an extra time goal from them. Such an important one, it could make the real difference now. Yeah, it puts them in a really strong position. Tackle here. Oh, he's away from his marker now. Great opportunity. Seen the chance, got to be. Well, that's the old one too. So quick, one after the other. Well, given the way the goalkeeper has started this game, this goal is no surprise. None at all. He started badly and he's fell away. He doesn't... Cardoso. 
so dangerous. And the shot's off. And that's a brilliant goal. Well taken. Goalkeeper's game is getting worse and worse. Well, he's